call blonde girls. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, just like talking about differences between like picking up girls of different races, specifically white and Asian. Yeah, <laughs> okay. This, is, this may upset some people. Um, I, no, no offense to my Asian sisters here, I, I've, I've dated like quite a few. Um, I simply find like white girls more fun and more easy, more easy to approach. Like straight up, I mean, like all my serious, except for like one or two, um, relationships have been with white girls. Uh, I mean, girls. I mean, like Latinas, um, black women are incredibly open and receptive to Asian guys approaching them. Uh, when it comes to approaching a group of Asian girls, it's a lot. There's a lot more subtle subtlety required. Um, because, you know, just like Asian guys, and when you're at an Asian club, and it's like very cliquish and very clannish, I mean, <laughs> you know, I remember in college going to an Asian party, and like literally, it's just like everyone's dressed in black, and got the guy standing on one wall, and got the girl standing on the other wall. I mean, there's this, um, it's not as uh, socially open and receptive to um, just casually, you know, casual approaches and, and talking. So. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's why when I also take my students out, we are going to go to places where um, we, the most number of, of girls that we can find in order to practice. And from sheer numbers, there are more white girls to, for them to practice on, to talk. Okay. Mm. Um, what are some certain cues that you look for in a girl when you decide, or that you tell your students to look for when you decide whether, like, what kind of approach she's like based on how she's dressed or whatever? I don't know how many, however many friends she's with. Right, right. I mean, there's you can get into the very deep psychological um, discussions where the, the scientists have shown that you know if a woman wears very kind of like um, showing a lot of skin or like kind of slutty. She's like that, t you know, near ovulation, all that kind of stuff. going out. Um, cues is whether the girl is like smiling, um, how much she's talking to her friends. Because sometimes you, you'll see this. You'll see two girls go to the bar and they're completely enthralled with one another. They're talking to have a good time. Obviously they have a, more, a lot more of a social bond going. All the time you'll see like two girls and they'll, they'll go to the bar and they'll sit, let's use <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> All right. Let's say these two girls. You know, they're at the bar, and that's the bar. But instead of these two girls talking to one another or facing the bar to get a drink, they're sitting at, like with, like these two girls. They're facing outward, and they're not really turning towards one another. All right. These are kind of cues that they're on the lookout for, and they are receptive <laughs> to men approaching them. There's a lot of things like that that um, that women signals that you can give. But here's the thing. Again, I'm I am not trying to be a mind reader. Again, I consider myself lucky if I just understand forty percent of what the hell a girl does. Um, it's being in control of yourself. I think this is where we're a little bit different from other companies. Is that we are more internally processed in the fact that I am going to do this. I am not going to try to necessarily manipulate the girl or try to influence her with like whatever words, tactics, or kind of this material. I am going to do this. I'm going to exude this kind of confidence and be a force of personality and charisma, and she can like me or not like me. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean, there's some things. I mean, you can like read small things like, oh, you know, how many times she brushes her hair. But that's like nitpicking. Like honestly, I think it's better for the guy just to sack up and, and go. You know, regardless of the situation. <laughs> so we've been we've been talking um, about seduction as a very male centric mm -hmm. point of view. Um, I'm wondering if the seduction community has evolved to the point where there's actually like game for women. Too. Oh, there there's game for women. You, you want it, 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 it has been around forever. Who here is wearing makeup? 
but but also <laughs> the physical <laughs> game market. So. Oh, that's that's <laughs> that is female game. <laughs> no, I mean there is more. It is it is similar to guy game, or at least advanced stuff. I've had the um, unique opportunity to see what girls will do to gain like high status uh, males. I've seen girls gain Quentin Tarantino, uh, Ethan Hawke, uh, Wesley Snipes, and what girls would do. Some of it is very obvious. Some of it is just like, oh my god, like really? And other other times, I'm like, damn, that girl's got game. Um, no, seriously, I remember one time uh, I was in Austin with Quentin Tarantino. I was just observing this. He's there with his girlfriend and like a guy, another girl. And this girl, she's got like a couple of girlfriends and the guys, you know, they, she sees this and she's like, it's like, Quintel Chino chef, go, <laughs> right? <laughs> she grabs her friends and, and, you know, introduces, she's like, oh my God, you're Quentin Tarantino, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, Quentin's there with this girlfriend or whatever. And she knows what's up. She knows that this girl is trying to pick up, you know, Quentin. And so she's like, oh, you know what? It's a pleasure meeting you, you know, dismissing her, right? But now this girl's like, got a target with her eyes set on Quentin. She's like, oh, that's so cool. Where are you guys going? You said, oh, there, that's so awesome. Here, have you met my friend? And like, introduces like that girl to like her guy friend. And she's like, grabs Quentin and just leads him to her table. <laughs> uh, I've seen where Wesley Snipes, girls will do like this little dance. They'll, you know, I remember we couldn't get a table and we're on the dance floor and we're just all kind of hanging out, like, what, whatever. And slowly the girls will, you know, they'll start dancing over. And dance in front of us. Then we'll get a little bit closer. And then we'll get a little closer. And then they'll start doing like the faux lesbian thing, right? To get Wesley's attention. Um, there's a lot of different strategies, obviously, but here's the thing there is no need. I, I mean, there may be a need. Um, but at this point, women, especially they're pretty from an early age, understand unconsciously what the game is. If, you're, if she's attractive, she's always in the game. I mean, a girl cannot get out of the game if she's attractive. She could, you know, lock herself up in her room, but if she's got a Facebook profile, there's a Facebook <laughs> paper on it. <laughs> what does a guy have to do to get out of the game, to stop being socialized? You just stay home and play StarCraft. <laughs> right? That's all you need to do. So, here's the thing. From an early age, women are gaming. They may not realize it, but they are learning social experience. They just don't call it game, and they don't break it down as much as we do. And then what? So, what would you tell <coughs> girls to do, especially the Asian girls, I guess, so they can seem more open and receptive and not click in? Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, <coughs> it depends on the environment that you go to. Um, part of it is just, just like physically being receptive. If you're, if you're, um, in like a, a circle of like Asian girls, obviously that's very difficult to break. Um, I in <laughs> uh, I'll make a joke of my <coughs> my own Asianness expense. Whenever I go to an Asian club, you see like a bunch of Asians or like Asian guys. They call it the Great Wall of China. <laughs> <laughs> Just being receptive to smiling. Um, a lot of girls will do is position themselves up to if they are interested in a guy, whether he's white, black, or Asian, is to make eye contact. Psychologists have shown that when, when a woman is interested in a guy, very rarely will women actually approach that guy. You know, that's very forward, right? Where what they'll do is, you know, they'll they'll look at a guy and they'll look away for like three seconds, and they'll do it like three times. Like the most annoying thing in the world, right? <laughs> like, come on, you know, give me a bigger signal than that. Uh, but this what I call like open <coughs> communication. It's the idea is like, I'm interested in you, so please come approach me. Please have the confidence to talk to me. Uh, again, girl game is a lot more subtle, a lot more about giving these kind of signals that men should approach her. So again, just realize <coughs> the context of the situation that you're in. If it seems that you're very kind of closed off then it, it would be much harder for the guy to, to basically get the confidence to come up and approach you.